So let's do physics. Mechanics. Just now I can do my choo-choo train. You remember that choo-choo train? That doesn't work and it has to be pulled. And I'm going to pull it. But I'm going to design a way to pull the train that reflects somehow the problem I'm facing. So here's what I'm going to do. The whole plane is going to be horizontal to me. So the plane, uh, the train is moving in the horizontal plane along with tracks. And then I will make two holes in that plane. And now I'm thinking about the plane being in three space. I will take a rope and my rope will begin below the plane, out there. It will go through the point A, through this curved hole. It will go above the plane. Then it will go toward the train. Hook it. And go to the hole through B. And then it will go below the plane. And then my mechanical system is going to be about pulling both ends of the rope simultaneously. And I will pull them by hanging some weights. And I will put weight one and one on both ends of the rope. Well, of course, uh, to come up with a system like this that reflects the problem, we don't even see now why this problem reflects exactly the original geometric optics problem. Uh, and uh, it requires some new ideas about how to build the system. But let's look at this system. Why is it that this system is about the same problem? In a pulley, don't the two angles where the ropes come down by the same angle? Well. well, speaking of the answer, yes. It will provide the same answer eventually. But why is it originally the same? Why is it about minimizing the total length? Well, it's going to, the train will stop at the shortest distance from you know, your first point. Because that's from the first point? Well, or from the second point? Or well, from both. both of them? Cool. So why both? Well, what is it that uh, such a system trying to do? It tries to minimize the potential energy. So that is about two weight going down. What does it mean that we want to pull those two together down? It means that the system is trying to maximize the length of the rope below the plane. Right? Now, if you have a fixed rope and you want to maximize the length of it, total length, below the plane. It is exactly the same as minimizing the length of the rope above the plane. And the length above the plane is exactly the length from A to P plus P to B. So this problem is indeed exactly about this quantity to be minimized. But then, you think about, well, from physics point of view, when is it that the train is going to stop? There are two forces, exactly two forces acting on the train. And you can imagine those vectors of forces. So one force has magnitude 1 in this direction. Another one has magnitude 1 in that direction. And the plane of uh, the train will move, as I have on the picture, when is it going to stop? When both are equal to each other. Both vectors are equal to each other? That's perpendicular. When the magnitude, well, when the magnitude is perpendicular? Well, I can make them equal to each other if you imagine this point. If the train is right here, both 
ropes will pull in exactly the same direction and both vectors are going to be equal to each other. Will the train stop there? No, it will move there. So what is it so special about the point where the train stops? So what we expect is one force and the other force. And remember, those have the same magnitude. Magnitude is one. So they pull the train in such a way that it doesn't move along this road. Now remember the geometric way of seeing how that force pulls along that row, uh, road. And it's about projection of that force onto this direction. <coughs> so this is projection of the first force. That is projection of the second force. <coughs> and what we expect in order for the train to stop here is that these two forces cancel each other. Right? So the condition on the position where the train stops is about these two intervals being the same, these two forces being, these two projections being the same length but opposite. And then you see a little geometry tells you that you have two right triangles, they share, well, they have the same length of those sides, hypotenuse have the same length, so the triangles are the same. And that means that, of course, these two angles are the same. So now, finally, some physics, mechanics, tells us the closest, well, in some sense, the optimal point is the point where two angles are the same. <coughs>